What is up guys, me luck here, and today we are back in action playing some E-Arc modded, and it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to smash a like button. I'd really appreciate it, and it helped me out tremendously. So today is not a normal gameplay episode. We are taking a look at all the wardens, all the bosses, and all pretty much the high-tech creatures or high-end creatures you can get in Anunnaki Genesis. Now, Anunnaki Genesis is a Arc Dino overhaul mod that changes vanilla dinos and completely overhauls the way the system works. Uh, it allows babies to spawn in the wild. Uh, it gives random RNG drops based on your player's level, so you can actually get celestial gear from killing like alphas and just uh, like badass creatures and stuff like that. Now, there's a tier system of creatures. There's basic vanilla creatures, which they've changed. Uh, there's badass creatures. I guess it goes vanilla elites. Elites are kind of like bigger counterparts, so you encounter like an elite Dilo, uh, elite Titan Boa, stuff like that. Then it goes badass. Then it goes alpha. Then it goes prime alpha. Prime alpha isn't tameable, but alphas are. Uh, then you also have apexes, and then you have wardens, and then you have gods, and you also have celestials. Now this isn't that that isn't the exact order. Now wardens and gods you can't actually tame. Uh, celestials you can, we'll get to that here in a little bit. So there's a bunch of different tiers of creatures, and they all look really cool. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the actual wardens themselves. These are the wardens. Now, uh, there's wardens for each of kind of like the different biomes. So, going from left to right here, I guess, we have Bormal, Warden of the Depths, so you're going to encounter him in the ocean. We have Bokito, Warden of the Snow, so you're going to encounter him on mount mountaintops, or I guess just in snowy areas, right? Uh, then you have uh, Schmog, Schmog, uh, Warden of the Tundra. You're going to find him kind of like in grassy plains areas and, uh, you know, lightly lightly forested areas, stuff like that. Then you have right here uh, Karkinos, uh, Warden of the Rivers. Obviously, he's going to be next to rivers. And these guys are kind of like limited time. Well, they're not really limited time, but they're bosses that spawn. You kill them, they give epic loot. They have their own armor set, which gives you... Uh, amazing buffs. I actually have the armor set on right now, uh, if we can look at it here. As you can see, this is the armor set. The armor set, you, get, you can get some pieces off them randomly, but they give you pretty much a uh, higher HP regen, reduced knockback, uh, an unlimited underwater uh, uh, breathing, and increased movement speed, and increased uh, melee damage. Also, it's unbreakable. These guys are kind of like the in-game bosses, so this is going to be the in-game armor. Do not expect to kill these guys unless you have extremely powerful creatures. Anyways, we have uh, Nasher, Ward in the Beach, so you're actually going to, you're probably going to encounter this guy, maybe even at starter areas, I'm not sure, but around the beaches of the island. And then we have uh, Nilok here, Ward in the Sky, so he's going to be flying above the Ark here. And then we have, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, Ray, Ray Wam, Ray Wham, <laughs> Warden, Warden of the Mountains. So this guy's going to be spawning on mountaintops and stuff like that. Now, they have recently changed around uh, the Wardens and add, removed some and added some. Actually, I don't know if they removed any, but I do know they added some. Like this guy right here, Smog, he, um, that guy actually be, used to be the uh, Giganotosaurus right there, the Giganotosaurus. He actually used to be Warden of the Tundra, and I guess they changed him to Warden of the Mountain because Nelok here used to be Warden of the Mountain, and now he's Warden of the Sky. So they added one. They added this guy who is now Warden of the Tundra. Also, they've changed the way they look. This guy used to look kind of like an, a normal uh, King Kong boss, but they gave him an awesome skin. Also, all these guys, when you kill them, they give you their skin so you can put them on their like normal counterparts. So if I kill uh, the, the Dodicarus here, I get his golden skin. I can stick it on a Dodicarus, which is awesome. Same with this guy. If you tame a Gorilla boss, which is a classification I forgot to mention earlier, they're called Uber. So you can actually tame Ubers. Uh, so the Gorilla boss, uh, the Dragon, and then, the, well, I guess, yeah, the Dragon... Uh, the wyverns, wyverns are kind of like small dragons, and then, um, you know, all that kind of stuff, the dodo rex and stuff. And this guy actually looks different as well. This is Mormal, Warden of the Depths, and this guy used to be massive. He used to be from, like, that hillside over there to that, like, mountain over there. He used to be by far the gi biggest creature ever made. It was ridiculous. Like, my character was the size of this guy's freaking eyeball. It was ridiculous. Let's back up. Yeah, like right now, I'm, I'm pretty much bigger. I was like the size of his pupil, of his eyeball. That's how like massive he was. He was absolutely massive. So these are the wardens. Now there is one warden that I haven't, I don't have. The, there's seven wardens, and then there's something called a war chief. Now for some reason, it won't let me spawn in the war chief. I talked to the mod devs, and they don't know why. Uh, they're working on it. 
So we're not going to check out the, the War Chief, but the War Chief is kind of like the commander of all these guys. He's a lot stronger than the Wardens, and he's kind of like the last guy you want to tame. Now, uh, the next thing we're going to take, uh, take a look at is the uh, Celestial Creatures. Now, these guys are creatures that you can actually tame, but the only way to actually tame them is by killing all the Wardens. Once you kill all the Wardens, you can harvest their body and get something called Essence. So you get, like, um, Nasher Essence and, uh, you know... Uh, Smog Essence, and once you kill all seven Wardens, so all seven of these guys, you get all seven of their Essence, you can make something called an Ananaki Matrix. Let's go ahead and look at this guy. Ananaki Matrix, and as you see, I have some of the Essence right here, Essence of Bokito, Essence of Smog. You make this guy, and you're able to actually passive tame the Celestial Creatures. Now these guys, uh, I don't know exactly how strong they are, but I've actually tamed them, and um, we're going to see what their stats are one thing I would like to mention though is these guys aren't tameable I have them I've given them to me but you can I can't look at their stats and you can't actually write on them or anything and once you give them to you uh, once you relog they'll actually disappear and you can't force tame them either they'll instantly disappear as well so let's go and check out the stats of these guys these guys are really really cool as you can see they're all super glowy and amazing now the default stats uh, in Anunnaki Genesis it adds in by default difficulty 15 which means that creatures can spawn up to level 450 so 675 is a hundred percent taming efficiency so this is the max Anunnaki creature that you're going to be able to get now I've logged in now I haven't used any of the experience so far on any levels so by default he gets he starts off with 447 thousand health 1200 stamina of course this is going to be a little bit different based on what you know the um, the creature you tame, it'll be a little, it'll, it'll mostly be the same though. Uh, 17,000 weight, 300% melee damage. Now this seems small, but they actually do a massive amount of damage, 100% movement speed. So I'm going to go ahead and allocate a point into each one of these guys right here, and we're going to check out how strong they are, how much they gain per point. Uh, so he gains, oh wow, he gains about, oh, about 20,000, uh, health. He gains 200 stamina. Uh, food, uh, he doesn't really, uh, food doesn't really matter. Weight. He gains about 1,000 weight, and then melee damage, he gains about 10%, and then movement speed, he gains about 5%. Now, I want to keep in mind that my, my stats are actually doubled for speed and weight, so take whatever I just said uh, half of, so 2.5% per level for speed, and about 750 weight per level. So, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the Wyvern here. The Wyvern... Uh, I'm not sure how that happened, but I fell through the map. Okay, anyways, let's check out the Wyvern. Now, the Wyvern is a small dragon. Let's go ahead and check. So, they all have names, too. Like, that is uh, the dragon over there is Primordius. This guy over here is Raphus. And then the dragon I'm on, actually, I'm not sure what his name is. What, what do you, I think it's uh, Elagon? Yeah, I think it's Elagon. So, let's go ahead and check this guy out. So, he starts off with 200,000 health, 1,600 stamina, 18,000 food, 14,000 weight, 600% melee damage, 100% movement speed. Let's go ahead and allocate one point in each. Yeah, so they gain a lot of health, and they, but also by default, these these melee damages seem small, but they have such a, like a high base damage that this is actually a lot of damage. So they gain about the same amount of stats, it looks like, on uh, all three of the creatures. Also, I apologize for the frames. These celestial creatures give me absolutely horrible frames. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, 240,000 health. We have uh, 1,800 stamina, 1,700 food. 12,000 weight, 600 or 550% melee damage, 100% movement speed. Uh, so yeah, about about this is a little bit less than 20,000, but uh, that's about 17,000 or whatever. And this guy gains 200 stamina, a little bit of food. You never want to allocate points in food, so I probably shouldn't even bother. Uh, about 2,000 weight, 25% uh, or so. I uh, I guess 30. No, yeah, 20%. Yeah, about 20% uh, melee damage. And 5% movement speed. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention is there is a mini boss. So, two thi one thing I don't have here is the War Chief, like I said before. Uh, but they've added a new mini boss, and this is Salitha. Uh, Salitha, yeah, Salitha, Queen of the Serpents. And she is level 15. By the way, all the Wardens are level 15 if you use the, the base difficulty from Anunnaki Genesis, which is uh, 15. They're all level 15. And they all have around a couple million health, and they do a couple thousand damage. Now, the War Chief, I think, has... A lot more health, and then I think he does around 10 to 20 to 30 thousand damage. And then there's also something I need to spawn here. I'm gonna show you guys at the end is called the Anunnaki God. So the Anunnaki God is actually one step above 
the wardens. He's actually, he's absolutely ridiculous. And he kills the war chief and all the wardens almost instantly. I think he does like two to 300,000 damage per hit, which is crazy. But anyways, this is uh, the, uh, the one of the mini bosses that they added. So I guess we're going to try to start adding some more mini bosses that spawn around. And it looks, this Titan Bow looks absolutely fantastic. I want this skin to put on my Titan Bow. It looks sweet. Anyways, we're going to, I'm going to get rid of all these guys. Uh, we're going to spawn in the god. And then maybe we'll do a couple battles with the Anunnaki Celestial creatures here. Okay, so this is Oblivion, the embodiment of darkness. This guy is an absolute beast. He's level 666. So he's from the layers of hell, and uh, he's pretty awesome. This guy is by far the strongest creature that has probably ever walked the face of Ark. He kills dragon gods, wardens, titans, war chiefs almost instantaneously. It doesn't matter what it is, this guy absolutely demolishes him. And I don't, I, I mean, he's just absolutely ridiculous. He looks like Satan. He's ridiculous. I'm not sure if it's possible to kill him, uh, like, in a normal game. It might be. I have no idea. I've never tried. Um, I do know the Wardens are definitely possible. I've killed them in my series. If you want to see that, then go check out my series. Uh, but yeah, this guy is fantastic. So yeah, I just wanted to show him real quick. We're going to, I guess, maybe uh, take one of the, maybe the Dodorex or the Dragon or the Wyvern here. And we're going to fight some Wardens. It should be pretty sweet. I guess before we fight creatures, you guys might want to know how fast these guys are just by default before we stick a lot of stats in them. So they're pretty fast. And oh, dude, this guy looks absolutely amazing. Let's kill this Bronto over here. He's crazy. Gah! Oh, wow. He just got instantly demolished. And look, he's so demolished that I just petrified his corpse into it. Oh, we're, we're, we're on cheap players only. My bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the Wyvern. The Wyvern's camera is kind of a little weird, uh, but he looks cool. Also, he has a weird thing where his, I guess, wings. Maybe this is my graphics options, uh, but his wings don't connect to his body, which is kind of weird. It kind of reminds me of Rayman with the hands without the arms or whatever. So this is like a Rayman dragon. Um, so yeah, this guy's pretty sweet. I, he's pretty slow though. I'm not sure if I'd want to use him for daily travel, probably mostly just for boss killing and looking pretty awesome if I was on a server. Let's go ahead and land this guy. We're going to check out the dragon himself. You know why I keep falling through the world is because I'm in ghost mode right now. That's why I'm a derp. Um, so yeah, this is the dragon. He also has the Rayman wings, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Let's fight some stuff. I'm probably going to get rid of the two dragons here and we're going to, uh, fight with the Dodo Rex. Okay, let's see if the uh, the Celestial Dodo Rex can actually take on one of the Warden's head on. Just 1v1. So I've put about 200,000 experience. I've got his health up to 1 million. And we have his melee damage up to 755%. Now we did put like one stat in each of these guys or whatever. But I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to get rid of cheat uh, players only. Yes! Yes! Get Rex, son! Uh... So he's a fu oh oh no! What are you doing? You can't run away from me, bro. Yeah, so he's attacking me. As you can see, I'm taking very little damage on the Anunnaki. Now, one cool thing about the celestial creatures is you can make saddles for them. Obviously, you probably want to make the saddles just because it's extra armor protection. But you don't have to make the saddles. I mean, they're already hard enough to tame. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, I mean, not having them make the saddle uh, is is a pretty cool little feature, I think. Um, so we're taking we're uh, I, uh, we're taking some massive damage here. Now this is Ward of the Mountains. He is a uh, Giganotosaurus, so he is pretty strong. Um, and the thing about the Wardens is it's very hard to get a creature uh, the, that's able to actually solo the Wardens. It's very recommended to be able to get two creatures or more, three, four, five creatures of your strongest uh, types and just battle the Wardens that way. I actually, my single player, I fight them with my Alpha Giganotosaurus and my Alpha T-Rex. Now, looks like I'm not going to be able to take this guy on. Looks like this guy is going to absolutely murder my face. Okay, we're back. So, I have actually made a saddle just for a little bit of armor. I figured maybe we could probably actually solo this guy with the saddle. One thing I forgot to mention is he can... Uh, you can use Crouch or whatever, and he shoots like an energy ball. Or I guess he kind of just like holds it there. Oh, yeah. Let me let me go ahead. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. So, he shoots an energy ball, which is sweet. And then also right click shoots a, a little fire thing, kind of like the Dodo Rex. So yeah, that's actually really, really cool. 
Yeah, so let's go ahead and fight this guy. The, also, the fire does, I think, the same amount of damage as normal melee attacks, so it's pretty cool. Also, Ananaki has made it so they count as kills when you kill things with fire, and you still get loot and that kind of stuff, so that's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, dude, with armor, I think we can easily take this guy with armor. It's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, I think we're about to figure out that Ananaki creatures are really powerful, but they have a hard time against Warden of the Mountains. Uh, we could try a different Warden, but I think I'm going to try to get a couple, maybe Dodorexes and Dragons to see if we can take this guy down. Yeah, and he is dead. Okay, we're back. So, I have spawned in three Ananaki Dodorexes. They're going to try to take on the Warden here. Now, they're much lower level, so they don't have as many stats, but I think they should possibly be able to take this guy on. Uh, maybe. Let's, uh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy, guys. This is absolutely nuts. They might not be able to take this guy on because the giant, uh, uh, Giganotosaurus is going to take them all out at the exact same time. Oh, no. I didn't even think about this. I don't think they're going to be able to take this guy out. It's going to be tough. Look at him. Oh, this is so awesome, though. Oh, he's running away. Get him. Oh, no, they're all dead. They all died. No, they all died. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show the strength and uh, of the uh, awarding creatures and also show them all off. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I think we're going to try to maybe do some boss battles and stuff like that in the future. So make sure to comment some suggestions down below. Uh, some things I would like to do is once the War Chief starts working, maybe a bunch of War Chiefs versus uh, the uh, Ananaki God. Also, maybe try to get the Dragon God in there, do a bunch of Dragon Gods versus War Chiefs, things like that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's things I want to do in the future. So, comment down below. I uh, love your faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one.